Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome to the second video of my React Native animation series. In the previous video, we built a simple fade-in animation. And in today's video, we'll go over the transform property, which we'll use to rotate our square. And we'll also go over the animation using module. In the next video, we'll bring together what we'll learn today and the fade-in animation we created in the previous video to infinitely rotate and fade in our shape. Let's begin by taking a look at the transform property. This is a styling property that we can use to rotate, scale, or skew our elements. So let's go ahead and implement a few examples to give you a better understanding. For now, let's disable the fade-in animation on our shape. Now to rotate our shape, let's add another style object to our styles with the word transform as the key, and the value will be an array of objects. And in this array of objects is where we'll define our rotation. For example, if we want to rotate our shape 45 degrees, we'll simply add the following to our array. In the very same array, we can also pass in another object to scale our shape, like this. And we can also skew our shape. Knowing how the transform property works, we can use it along with the animated API to create a looped rotation, which we'll go over in the next video. One last thing I want to take you through is the animation easing module. So I'll control Z to restore my fade in animation. And in the animation.timing function, we can specify a predetermined animation, such as easing.back, easing.bounce, easing.ease, easing.elastic, and several other functions that you can check out in the React Native documentation. That's all for this video. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Be sure to like or subscribe if you enjoyed the video and would like to see more content like this in your feed. Until next time, cheers.